I'm Lily. And I'm Junaid. Last year, you may have seen us reporting on the global education crisis. This year, we have a new report for you. Coming up, the global education problem, what did we do last year, and what can we do this year? Education is the root out of poverty. Unfortunately, at least 72 million children around the world do not have the opportunity to go to school. Here's why. Who you are and where you live in the world can decide whether or not you go to school. Kids are prevented or excluded from school for many reasons. Sometimes it's money. They cannot pay for school fees, uniform or transport. Others have to work. These children from Bangalore in India have to pick rubbish to earn just enough money to feed their family each day. If you're a girl or disabled, you're much more likely to miss out on an education. A lot of children that are out of school live in countries where there are wars happening. Last year, all around the world, children, parents and teachers got as many people as possible to join up together to demand education for all children. There were thousands of miles of human chains all over the world. Some children went on exchange visits to Kenya, Malawi and Rwanda to find out how we can work together globally. Children who don't go to school in this area are very many. As you can see behind me, they're there. Because of poverty, they don't go to school. Children should go to school to achieve their goals. Not only to achieve their goals, to get more information. Not only getting more information, to get skills. This year, we need your help again. Our mission in 2008 is to make sure every MP helps us to get our message across to world leaders. We want as many MPs as possible to fill out one of these missing out action cards to support our campaign. Involving our MPs will take the message to world leaders that all children need to be in school by 2015. We are part of the global campaign for education that is trying to make sure world leaders keep their promise to give every child an education by 2015. Do you think all we do has any effect on world leaders? This campaign, year after year, raises awareness not just amongst school children, but also amongst MPs like me. Reminds us of the pledge that our government made, along with others, uh, to have universal education in sometime in the next decade. But there's a lot more still needing to be done, and I'm absolutely certain that this campaign can make a big contribution in bringing about the changes that we need. People power, people standing up for what they believe, taking the trouble to give their views to members of parliament and to those in a position to try and make a difference is really, really important. You can get these missing out action cards from your teacher. Each one represents a child who's missing out on an education. Customise your cards with images to represent what the children are missing out on by not having an education. You can join all your cards together, make mobiles or put your cards on display however you like. Anyone can join in, but the one person you must get involved in your work is your MP. At the beginning of July this year, Gordon Brown will be attending the G8 Summit. It's a meeting of the world's richest countries. We want him to get your message that we need to end the global education crisis and that the world's richest countries must keep their promises. Send all your work to Gordon Brown at number 10 Downing Street before the 30th of June. We need your help to make this work. We've been successful in the past. But we need to keep the pressure on world leaders 
to end the global education crisis.